Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze a heat transfer from a gear. We are going to design this gear using some equations and from that equation we will obtain this gear geometry. So let's start. Uh, this is the shape of the gear we are going to generate. In this video, I will discuss all this process, how you could get the equations, how you could uh, change the modify number of teeth, how to change the radius of this gear, and from uh, from a simple equation, how you would obtain this gear geometry, you would analyze from there. The gear we are going to make is having average radius of 10. And it is having 17 number of teeth. So oscillation radius is 2. Angular vector is varying from 0 to 2 by with a variation of 0 0.01. With using this, we will obtain lots of points for this spur gear using this equation. Angular vector is 0 0.01. Using this, we are going to obtain x and y coordinates using this these two equations. So using this, I have obtained these points in Excel. We are having x coordinate and y coordinate value. I have arranged this all in a text document. In text document, the first column represents the group number that is 1 for open curve and 2 for closed curve. And the second column is ID number. It is starting from point 0.1 to up to number of points you have. Third column is X coordinate, fourth column is Y coordinate and fifth column is Z coordinate. As we are going to draw it in a XY plane, so Z coordinate is 0 here. I have obtained all these points. Using Excel. Save this notebook and we are going to import this notebook in the design modeler to obtain this curve. <laughs> now open the fluid flow fluent. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. Select the XY plane. Go to concept tab and select 3D curve. Select the definition as from coordinate file. Select our text coordinate file. And click on open. It should be in a text document format. Now click on generate. Select the coordinate file, coordinate line input as uh, units as millimeter. Then click on generate. Select the fit to zoom to the screen so that it would be uh, visible. Now this is your gear profile curve. We are going to project this one onto a 3D surface. So for that we are going to create a 3D surface in this XY plane. On that 3D surface we are going to project this curve to obtain our gear profile. Select the sketch one. Go to sketching toolbox. Select the circle option. Starting from the origin, create a circle. Go to dimension. Keep it all in millimeter.
put the outer diameter now going to extrude this circle create the cylinder select the extrude option select the sketch one select the depth of extrusion then click on generate the 3d cylinder has now been generated Now we are going to project this 3D curve onto this 3D geometry. Select the projection option. Select the curve. Select the type as edge on face. Select the face of this 3D surface, 3D cylinder. Select the extend edges option as yes. So that this should be continuous without any discontinuities in between. Now you can see. our projection has been successfully done on this cylinder surface now we are going to extrude this one the surface so that obtain the gear profile select the face click on apply Select the direction vector. Select the z-axis as the direction. Select the depth of the extrusion as five millimeter. Select it as add frozen option. Click on generate. Now our gear profile has been generated. Suppress this 3D surface so that we could see the our extruded gear profile. This is your gear profile. We are going to make a hole inside it. For that, we are going to create a new sketch on this X Y plane. Select the sketching option. Draw a circle. Put the dimensions of the circle. Now click on generate. Now we are going to extrude this inner circle. Select the add frozen option. Select the same depth of five millimeter. Now we are going to boolean this inner circle, inner cylinder from this outer gear profile. Select the inner cylinder as the tool body.
the gear profile is ready now the geometry is sound complete now we are going to mesh this geometry in as ansys meshing tool Now we are going to mesh this gear geometry in the ANSYS meshing workbench. First check the default mesh. Right click on the mesh and select generate mesh. This is the default mesh generated. Now we are modifying the size. Select the adaptive sizing option. Increase the resolutions. Click on generate. Cells are arranged in a proper manner. Now, Right click on the mesh and click on generate. Select the boundary surface and name this boundary surfaces using the create named selection option. Update the mesh and proceed for solver setup in the ANSYS fluent. Open the ANSYS fluent workbench. Select the double precision model. Click on start. Good models. Turn on the energy equation. Now we are going to analyze the heat transfer analysis. So it is important to turn on the energy equation. Then go to materials. Go to solids. Choose the material. Go to Fluent Database. Select the material type as solid. Select steel as the material, working material. Click on Change Create, then Close. Now go to Cell Zone Conditions. Change the material type as solid. Change the material to steel. Go to monitors, select residuals, decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 15. Here there is no flow, only energy. So only energy for that only energy question will be solved. Keep the default operating conditions. Now go to boundary conditions. Select the hot wall.
click on edit and the temperature of this wall as 310 kelvin click on apply select the inner wall put the temperature of inner wall as 300 kelvin change the material to steel then click on apply close this boundary now go to initialization select standard initialization change the average temperature 300 then click on initialization now go to run calculation page enter the number of iteration as 1000 then click on calculate you can see it is solving for an only energy equation now calculation is complete close the fluent solver and open the CFD post processing to see the post processing results Open the CFD post processing. Insert a new contour. Select hold the control key and select all these walls. And then click on apply. You can see the temperature variations. Temperature is more at the tip side and it is decreasing gradually towards the inner side. It is changing from 309 up to 300 Kelvin. With this, let's conclude this demonstration. If you have any doubt or any query, please comment below. If you like this video then hit the like button. If you are new to our channel then please subscribe.